the thousands of un unsung heroes building the railroad across the Sierra Nevada mountains. No, where is she? Right next to the And uniting the country by rail. Oh. Many yeah. descendants of Chinese Not really, no. are here today. This is a far cry from 50 years ago Sorry, at the yeah, Centennial at Sam Promontory on May 10th, 1969, when my mother, Mary Lee Young, oh, was yeah, right such there. descendant present. What the Chinese achieved for the First Continental Railroad was epic. The superhuman effort of a vanguard of Chinese towing locomotives and rails 28 miles over the summit and the building of 15 tunnels in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Scores were killed in explosions, and in the horrific winter of 1866-67, work crews were buried by avalanches. Then, in the spring of 1869, out of the mountains into the desert of Utah, Chinese went from six inches a day building summit tunnel to lay 10 miles of track in one day. It took the incredible organization of wagons and cars and carts and horses and equipment and the teamwork of Chinese track okay. and eight Irish rail handlers. This record-setting feat on the road to promontory is unequal in history. The trust and cooperation between workers with a common purpose was a zenith of the human spirit. The centennial was a grand moment to celebrate the monumental achievement the Chinese were part of. Yet, why were the Chinese denied their rightful place in history at the 100th? Why was Philip Choi, president of the Chinese Historical Society, kept from making a presentation on the program? Why did the Secretary of Transportation, John Bolte, state in his keynote address, who else but Americans could chisel through miles of solid granite? Who else but Americans could have laid 10 miles of track in 12 hours? I'm sorry, I lost connection. Because the contribution I lost connection. of Chinese to the transcontinental was kept from national memory. The exclusion law of 1882 stopped the immigration of Chinese laborers and denied all Chinese naturalization to U.S. citizenship. In effect, for 61 years, the law excluded the Chinese from American history. Today, we take this opportunity at the 150th to reclaim a place in history, to honor the courage, fortitude, and sacrifice of Chinese railroad workers and their legacy in America, which belongs to all of us. It takes a village to build a railroad. We stand on broad shoulders, my ancestors and yours, those who fought exclusion and struggle for justice and equal rights. Let's be proud that immigrants make up America so we can have this moment of solidarity today and fortify a milestone in U.S. history, hammering in the last spike. Done. Thank you. Welcome, everyone, to the 150th anniversary celebration of the Transcontinental Railroad. We are pleased that all of you could join us for this iconic event that mirrors the famous celebration. What a golden spike connected East and West and united our nation as never before, as one. The spike, 150 children boys made up of five, fifth through seventh grades all over Utah, performing Iron Wheels. Civic from the East and the Central from the West, Grace and Jordan.